What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and I told you guys I was gonna be doing a back to school budget edition this year. We kind of slacked on the last few years, we've just been doing the baller, but we did what needed to be done and today we have the budget edition for the folks out there who don't wanna break the bank. So today we're gonna be talking about a bunch of cool tech that you can get your hands on to get ready for the new school year. But before we jump in, we gotta give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Simply Safe. So I don't know about you guys, but ever since I became a dad, I've been paying attention to the safety and security of my family more than ever. So when Simply Safe drops features like their new 24/7 Live Guard protection, it absolutely catches my eye. With their new Smart Alarm indoor camera, it can deter intruders by not only triggering the alarm, but also activating its built-in siren and live two-way agent audio. With this, as soon as someone breaks into your home, professional monitoring agents can see and speak to the intruder and warn them that the police are on the way, which has stopped them in their tracks. And those same Simply Safe monitoring agents can capture evidence and share it with the police so you can get priority emergency dispatch. Not to mention, it's all just really easy to set up. You don't even need a service appointment. You get all of your equipment delivered right to you and you're pretty good to go. Of course, if you guys want to try it out, you can save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for a Fast Protect plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash your average consumer or hit the link in the description to get started. But all right, now you guys, here we have it. Now in this video, I do want to make one thing clear. Uh, we are going to have of course some options over here, but the description or maybe embedded in this video will be quite a few more options. Some other choices I feel like would make sense if you wanted to pick up just to give you some variety and maybe some things that I think about later. So definitely check all of those links out so that you don't miss out on any cool tech for the cheap. This guy right here, this is our backpack of choice. It meets all of the criteria that I look for when it comes to purchasing a backpack and it's cheap, 25 bucks for a or a backpack, a solid one. Now, what I like about this backpack, it's packed, but it's got a pretty slim profile and it's really comfortable. It's got these nice thick straps. So even though I've got this one pretty packed up, feels really lightweight, uh, it's not too big. And most of all, it has a lot of compartments for all the tech that you wanna throw in here. So you've got one here, got a slot for glasses and anything else you want quick access to. Got another slot over here. You've got a larger slot over here and tons of pockets on the inside. There's also this cool little compartment in the back. So if you want to take something with you, kind of have it more hidden, you can have it in there. Maybe like important documents of some sort. You can throw it in there if you want to. Not to mention, it also does have a built-in USB port. Now, this is so you can throw a portable charger. The cable goes inside of the backpack. So when you're out and about and maybe you don't want to hold your portable charger, you can just take your cable, plug it into this USB port, and then charge your phone. Now, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm the backpack man, so I'm gonna have a few options for you listed down below. Some might be a little bit more expensive than this, but the choice is yours on what you wanna pick up. But now let's go inside and talk about the tech. Now, you know how we like to do. We're gonna start off with our laptop. So what we've got right here is the Lenovo Flex 5. And this is a surprisingly awesome laptop. Now, I say surprisingly because I spent less than $600 on this. Now, I found it at Micro Center and they have quite a few laptops on sale. So I'm gonna point out some of the ones I picked up and some that you should be looking at. While it's on sale, they're pretty good deals. Now, this immediately caught my attention because it's got pretty decent specs for the price. We've got an AMD Ryzen chip inside of here, which should help with the battery life since it's a little better on the battery than Intel. Uh, we've also got eight gigs of RAM and not to mention 512 gigs of SSD storage. And the specs are okay, but it comes with a few other perks that make it really worth considering. One, it's got a really nice display and it's touchscreen. So you've got a nice touchscreen display over here. It's higher than 1080p. You also have a built-in fingerprint scanner, not to mention it's got pretty decent speakers. You've also got a privacy shutter for your webcam if you don't wanna have that always accessible. You've got an SD card reader over here, two USB-A ports, an HDMI port, USB-C, as well as a headphone jack. So it really does check a lot of boxes. Uh, and it comes in this nice portable design. And I think, am I? No, I'm not tripping. Yes, you can go and turn it all the way around. So if you wanna use this thing as a tablet, you can absolutely do that. Like I said, less than $600. So I'll have it linked down below. You guys gotta check that out. I know there are gonna be some folks out there who wanna invest in a laptop, but 
might want it to do a little bit more than like the productivity things that this is gonna be capable of. So I got a gaming laptop as well. So I went and got this guy, the Dell G16 7620. Now with this being considered a gaming laptop, this is obviously gonna have quite a bit stronger specs than what we got with the Flex 5. So we're looking at an Intel Core i7 processor with 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of SSD storage, as well as an NVIDIA RTX 3060. So if you wanna do a little bit of gaming on here, you're absolutely going to be able to do that. Now, obviously you're not going to be able to crank the settings to anything crazy, uh, but if you just wanna be able to get in, have a few games maybe during your breaks, uh, this is absolutely going to be able to do that. It also has a 165 hertz refresh rate and it is obviously a 16 inch display if you couldn't tell by the name. So that means it's going to be a bit of a, a chunky boy. It's a little bit on the bigger and heavier side, uh, but if gaming is important to you, uh, then this is a really solid option considering you can get it for, I think, $8.99 right now. And it typically costs about $1,200. So I highly suggest checking out Micro Center's website. They've got lots of great deals on decent computers. Now, obviously these are going to be our Windows options, but you know Apple loves the kids or the students, I should say, uh, because they've always got discounted prices when it comes to students. And actually they've, they've got a couple. So they've got the M1 MacBook Air for $8.99 which is a really good price. Listen, somebody picking up the M1 MacBook Air today, I still feel like they're going to have a solid computer in their hands for a couple of years at least. Apple's chips are great because they give you great battery life. Performance is really good. Not to mention, if you're a student and you pick up one of these, you get a $150 gift card so that you can spend it on other things. And that's a pretty big deal, not gonna lie. So if you wanna pick up some extra accessories, you can do that with a gift card. Their MacBook Pros are starting at $1199, iMac surprisingly $1249, and there's a Mac Mini for $499. Like 500 bucks to get into the Apple ecosystem, very solid. Now, if you're gonna pick up a computer, you're gonna want some accessories. So of course, first thing you gotta think about while they have trackpads, a mouse. This right here is the Logitech G305. Very lightweight, easy to use mouse. Uh, if we wanna do with some gaming, it is absolutely going to be a nice lightweight mouse so that you can go ahead and do that. You're gonna to wanna to use a mouse, not a trackpad for gaming. And there's actually another option you might wanna consider, and that's this guy over here. This is the M650L. So this is more of an everyday mouse. It has better ergonomics. It feels really comfortable to use in the hand. It has softer clicks, whereas this has that very clicky sound, you know, gamers. Uh, but this is like your more everyday thing. If you want to take this thing into the library, you don't want to sound crazy clicking all over the place. You got this one. So depending on your preference, you can go for either one, uh, but this one's going to be great for every day and also for like max. Now, the thing is, if you're on a budget and you're getting an inexpensive laptop, they don't always come with a ton of storage. So it's always gonna be nice to grab some inexpensive storage like this guy over here. This is the Samsung T7. Now, we've been recommending like the Samsung T series for years and years now. Uh, the T7 is tried and true. Uh, it's a very durable SSD, really compact. Like you would think this can go in your wallet or something. Now I gotta say, I was tempted to include this SanDisk SSD that is really inexpensive. I think you can get like a terabyte for 80 bucks or something like that, something wild. It's crazy inexpensive, but I've been hearing a lot of stories about those failing, so you might wanna avoid that one. I haven't heard anything bad about this and we've been using it for years, so I definitely think you should consider this over the SanDisk. Jay's got that SanDisk and he's shaking in his boots right now. I got four. Oh, you bought four? <laughs> Back them all up, man. <laughs> so you're gonna want that extra storage if you wanna have like a lot of your you know, school projects maybe backed up just in case, or maybe you don't wanna load your computer with a bunch of games, you maybe wanna put it on here. That is why you might want some extra storage. Now, if you are that gamer, here's a really inexpensive gaming headset. This is the Astro A10. This is the second generation. I like the Astro A10 because they are very, very durable. It's an extremely durable headset. So I highly recommend this, especially if you're getting it for someone who's young. I've used these quite a lot for like playing Apex. It's only 50 bucks, so it's not gonna break the bank. So if you want a really nice solid gaming headset, but you don't wanna spend a lot of money, or you don't wanna worry about your kids potentially breaking the headset when they're playing with their gaming laptop, this is an 
absolutely great choice. And while we're on the topic of audio, we've got some good options here as well. The first thing we're gonna look at is this guy right here, the Sony WH-CH520. You know how Sony does with these model numbers. Uh, but this is a lightweight pair of Bluetooth headphones. You guys know Sony makes really good headphones. They've got quite the range when it comes to pricing. Uh, so this one only goes for about 30 something bucks right now on Amazon, a little less than $40. Typically it's 60, uh, but if you're looking for just something that you wanna not spend a lot of money on, throw in your backpack, forget about it. Uh, these are a nice pair of Bluetooth headphones and some strong points about it beyond the price is that it's got a 50 hour battery life, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, it also has fast charging, so three minutes of charging will get you about an hour and a half of listening. So if you wanna charge it really quickly for your commute to school or back, uh, this is absolutely going to do well. It's a pair of on-ear headphones, so you'll be able to feel that bass a little bit more when you're listening to it. It works with Sony's Headphones Connect app, so you can tweak the settings if you want to. And of course, on the headphones themselves, you have all of your controls, you got your USB-C port, pretty much everything you need. Now, even though this is small and lightweight, let's say you wanna go even smaller, you just want a pair of earbuds, you can always grab this guy right here. This is the JLab Go Air Pop. It's a weird name, not gonna lie. But it's 25 bucks, comes in teal. That's all you need to know. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. They come in multiple colors. They're really small. They sit in the ear really nicely. They are in earbuds, so something to consider for those of you who don't like that feeling. They're sweat resistant. You can connect them to multiple devices. Oh, another thing that you can do with these guys, you can do multi-device connection. Uh, and it has a built-in charger cable. So this charging case can plug right into a USB port, maybe your laptop or even on your backpack. You can plug it right in, let it charge, and you're good to go. But now maybe you don't wanna keep your music to yourself. Maybe you want everybody to hear it. You wanna share your songs with your friends. You can get this really nice small Bluetooth speaker. Uh, this is the JBL Go 3. Now I got this for like 30 bucks over at Micro Center. Really inexpensive. And I gotta say, you guys, I was really surprised at how this performed considering the size and the price. So let's turn it on really quick. It is, guys, when I tell you it is so surprising how good this sounds considering how tiny it is, and not to mention it's got a pretty rugged design. Hold on, let me not try to talk over this thing. It's got a pretty nice rugged design. I love the look of it. I might be a little biased here, but it, it looks good, it sounds good, it's compact, and it has USB-C charging, and it gets so loud. So check, check this out. I'm gonna play some music here. Look, it can't even handle being on the table. But that about rounds out our whole audio section over here. Now let's move on to some power. So you guys know me, I love me some portable chargers. So we've actually got a pretty large one over here, uh, and it's connected to our backpack. So if I wanted to plug something in, it'll be connected to this portable charger. 30,000 milliamp hours, that is a lot. Uh, you can charge multiple devices over and over with this guy. That is a really big power bank, only 36 bucks. So very inexpensive. Now it doesn't have crazy fast charging. I think it's up to 22.5 watts, but that's enough to fast charge like a phone or something iPhones will be able to take advantage of this no problem. Now what's nice about this is not only does it have like a really high capacity, uh, but it's got a built-in screen so you can see just how much juice you've got left. It's a really big screen for such a small number. And you've got a few different ports over here. You've got two USB-A's, a USB-C, and you can charge with a micro USB port, but why would you do that? Just use the USB-C. Now let's say you don't want this big, chunky, portable charger. You can grab something a lot smaller, uh, like this guy from Anchor, which can pop right into your phone. This one uses a lightning connector. It's 5,000 milliamp hours, and you can just throw it to the bottom of your phone, and you can start charging just like that. It has your USB-C port on the side so you can charge it. Now they also have options out there that also have like USB-C. So if you don't have an iPhone, you can pick up one of those instead. Uh, but I like this, it's convenient. And if you don't wanna carry a lot of stuff to school, this is a really good choice. Now, when it comes to cables, I gotta say, I am completely in love with these kinds of cables. And I think we showed this in the baller version. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked down below. But these cables have a built-in screen on them 
to let you know how fast you're charging your device. The reason why I find that really useful is I don't know how many times I've plugged in a device to a, whether a wall outlet, a portable charger, only to find that it wasn't charging at all. Uh, but with something like this, you get to see right here on the screen that it's charging. You can tell that it's fast charging and using 19 watts. But yeah, I'm, I'm converted. I won't use a cable that doesn't have a screen anymore. Whoa. That's not completely true, but I want all my cables to have a screen. And as you can see, we do have a phone over here. Uh, this guy is the Pixel 7a. If you don't, if you're on the market for a phone, you don't want to spend a lot of money. You don't want an iPhone. The Pixel 7a is absolutely worth taking a look at. You can pick this thing up for $444 on the Google store right now, as well as on Best Buy. It's a very similar experience to the flagship phones. It takes great pictures. Uh, this is absolutely worth considering if you're on the market for a new phone, don't want to spend a lot of money, Pixel 7a. It's one of the best values out right now. Oh, I almost missed it. This is like a charging brick that I've got. This is the ArcStation Pro. This is from Spigen. Now, there are a lot of really good, small, fast charging charging bricks. Uh, I'm a huge fan of like Anchor stuff. Spigen's got some good stuff. And I'll make sure to have all of those down below. Uh, I'll include some of my favorite ones that aren't expensive. I'll try to have them for less than like 30 bucks so you guys can find the right one for you. And one quick little recommendation I wanna make, if you use an iPhone or maybe you're a parent that uses an iPhone, get an AirTag so that you can keep track of your bag in case you lose it. Uh, this is going to be invaluable in case you misplace your bag or something or maybe somebody picks it up by accident. Having an AirTag in it is going to be extremely useful uh, just so you can keep track of your stuff. And just to round it out, we've got a couple of other like interesting things. I like this TomTalk or Tech Organizer. Let's say you don't go for a backpack with a ton of compartments. You want something a bit more minimal, but you might want to bring around like your SSD, your charger, your cables, all that good stuff. This is a nice little tech organizer that can pretty much take all of these. And boom, you just stuff it into your backpack. You know all of your gadgets are right inside of there. So if you don't wanna have like a nerdy looking backpack, something with all those compartments, get you a nice tech organizer. Uh, I think this one was 35 or 36 bucks. Really inexpensive, nice way to bring things around. You guys know me, tech survival kits, uh, tech travel pouch. I'm all about that life. Now, this is a back to school video, so I found something that I thought was pretty interesting. This is called the Note Tower. This is something that can be really useful as you do your work on your computer. So this particular one works with your monitor. So you can just strap it onto your monitor and you take a piece of paper and then you move it right into here. And if you don't like the idea of it flopping around like that, it has these that you can pull out to help the paper or whatever you have stay in place. There's another version of this that's standalone that you can put notes on two sides and it also has like sticky notes at the bottom. I think it could be really useful if you get like a lot of worksheets or you need to reference like physical papers. I think it's kind of cool. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, I've got a little surprise. I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway here. This backpack with all of the stuff that you see here, except for one of the laptops. You know, I'll probably do the gaming stuff separate. So it's like two different giveaways to of course help some folks for back to school. Now to enter into this giveaway, just of course make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So comment down below on what you would use these for and your social media handle so I can reach out. Make sure you're following me on that social media platform so that I can get in touch with you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this was like a nice little surprise at the end. Till the next one guys, it's your average consumer. Peace. You and me both.